Lakeland downtown Lafayette. The letters and parks on Sioux C, while well, they're painted pink and the Y Lafayette sign is uh, available for artists, nonprofits and other groups to promote causes, events or express themselves artistically. Our Abby Brian Bach is joining us live with the cause dear to this month's painters. Good morning, Abby. Good morning, you guys. Yesterday I came out here as the UL women's basketball team painted all of these letters pink. And as you look at the letters, you can see some of the teammates signed their names, but there are also some names that might be unfamiliar. These are names of loved ones family members and friends who were affected by breast cancer. Several team members say they've been affected by this disease or by a friend's battle with breast cancer and their coach says every one of them has been impacted by some form of cancer. Coach Broadhead, he also lost his wife to breast cancer back in 2015 and the team will play a pink game honoring all of these women and that's coming up on February 26th. The team says this is the game where they look forward to because of how close it is to their hearts. Diamond Morrison is one of our players mom that that had breast cancer two years ago and you know she's been you know cleared and cancer free for the last couple of years and she touches our heart because she's at most of our games and all that so they feel a connection you know they feel that connection uh, Coach Deacon uh, Jones's mom's also dealt with it so it's in our it's in our family. This game again will be on February 26th. That's not this Saturday, but the next one. It's going to be played at 2 in the afternoon, and you can get tickets over on RagingCajuns.com. Reporting live in Lafayette, Abby Breidenbach. Good morning, Acadian.